if you're in a program you don't really have to worry about anything in terms of that whole process of leaving the country all the way to the u.s your air tickets visa fees service fees any medicals that you have to do where you're gonna like who's gonna pick you you know from the airport to the school where you're gonna be staying mm. the program takes care of that we finance that for you mm. whatever you're gonna be studying we finance that for you through our learning partners who are also attending the event or on saturday and then uh, even for your even for your living expenses which basically is your food you know uh, bills you know internet whatever yeah, we take care of all that. For the whole period? For the whole period, yes. Until Baka Malize. Papa Malize, yes. So Baka Malize, uh, Malize, that's Malize. to a tune of like how much? To a tune of... Uh, we c uh, th for the tuition and living expenses, uh, our lending partners can give you up to as much as uh, $100,000. Good morning. <laughs> You're good. Salama sana. Salama Salmin. Uh, yeah. yeah. Congratulations on uh, the over 100 people. Students, uh, yes, you know, you quite a people and a car general <laughs> <laughs> student uh, members, student members, yes, yes, yes. You yes, know, yes. I had to come there uh, and a uh, witness, yeah, Nanyonge na Moja Wili yes. to confirm me to your Bob in your queen. By the way, you're your key to add, yeah, I saw, uh, and even behind the, <laughs> behind the stage out of the event, I had to interact with a few, ah, okay, yes, and a uh, confirmation. Nice, Legit. Nice, nice. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? Yes. Yeah, very important that people know. Yes. Uh, actually, the reason why we normally have the annual luncheon yes. is basically to showcase what we are doing. Yes. Because there's a lot of people out there who also don't know what we are up to. So it's an event uh, where we bring everybody on board to celebrate, of course, those who are leaving yes. and going to the U.S., but at the same time also just uh, just showcase what we are doing actually yes yeah, yeah so yeah. majorly i looked for you because i just wanted uh uh confirmation from the activity that happened yes. on uh, saturday yeah uh, where we saw mm. i even heard you say uh previous uh, there are students who had already flew mm. to the states for the studies already yes so how many had already flew uh, actually, yes, uh, we already started sending students at uh, uh, the beginning of this month, uh, from the 15th. I think we have like five already who left yes. before the event. Yes. We also expect, we, get, we expect a lot of other students actually to be getting visas between yes. now and the next three weeks or so. Okay. Yeah, because the, the latest school that will, uh, some of the will be reporting will be in, uh, in September. In September. So the whole of August actually will be sending students to the embassy to get those visas. Yes. So like I said in the event, uh, uh, in as much as we had 85 mm. on that day, yes. but we actually expect to send over 100, uh, about close to 150. Yes. Yeah, based on the numbers. Uh, so which is a big, uh, it's a big number. Yes. It's a big number. And at the event, we had around 250 guests. Yes. Mostly students, of course. We had about 200 students who were there, mm. who were in the program. Yes. Mostly, most of them, actually, they are like in the process. You know, either they've done school admissions, waiting for admissions, others waiting for visas, uh, and all those. And then, of course, the rest of the people who are there were, mm. you know, uh, leaders from academia space. Mm. We had the dean of students, in yes. of Nairobi, you met yeah, him. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we had a member of parliament, KPP, a good friend of mine. Mm. We had some officials from the U.S. Embassy, mm. remember Pauline? Yes. And a few other people. And from Zimbabwe. People, Zimbabwe, our partner from Zimbabwe. Mm. And also the guys who give us money. Yes. Yeah, they were there as well. So, mm. so it, was a, it, was a, it was a well... Uh, well attended uh, event yeah, yeah yeah i interacted with some of the student and uh, one said he, he had applied in 2022 mm. yes and he's been patient and he's going patience, to yeah. patience patience <laughs> actually um typically we expect a student to be done with the process within a year mm. as a regular student but uh and that's also why most of the time i always tell students like whoever really watches us and want to get into the program mm. this is one of those processes that requires you to be very patient very patient yeah and you also have to be resilient because sometimes also you might fall you have to wake up mm. dust yourself and keep on moving yes yeah because for example if you get denied this as the first attempt yeah you don't stop the process yeah. You know, you have to keep on apply again. And There's then another one who has been denied four times. 
and the, the, he's, the, he's the, living. The, yeah, he's, and he's living. Even mm. me, I was denied visa yeah, four times. Story. I got my visa at the fifth attempt. Mm. And actually, I always like insisting that because a lot of Kenyans out there, those who have never tried the process of going abroad, they don't know about issues to do with visas. Mm. So sometimes somebody just get into a, uh, an initiative like this mm. with the high expectations that ah, I should be there in the next six months. Yes. You know, mm. failing to understand that there are aspects of that process that are beyond your control as a student mm. and also beyond our control as mm. the company. Mm. The only thing that we can actually do is basically make sure that you're in the right shape by the time you're going to the embassy. We normally train you. You, ex you know the questions that you need you'll be expecting at the embassy and how to answer them and all those things. But at the end of the day, uh, you should not feel like uh, it's a guaranteed thing, you know? Yes. Yeah, like expect maybe if, if things don't work out at the first attempt, you mm -hmm. can always try. Yeah, trying, yeah. trying, trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there have been questions about a PhD, a PhD sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, was there uh, maybe a few students leaving for PhD? Yeah, actually, uh, uh, we had uh, one student who was there, who's going for a PhD, uh, mm -hmm. is going to do PhD applied mathematics at uh, North Carolina State University. I think University of North Carolina, if I'm not wrong. Uh, we, the problem with PhDs is uh, we get a lot of students who are interested in PhDs, mm -hmm. but the problem is usually our funding model, All right. which does not allow somebody to be in school mm -hmm. for more than two years mm -hmm. for us to finance them. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have to be finishing in two years' time. But that, like for, for example, like that student actually, we got him a full scholarship. Mm. It's not loan, nothing. So he got mm. a full scholarship. So it was very easy for us to finance him mm. for the process of uh, transitioning the relocation piece to go on the other side. But typically, PhDs we don't take. Usually what I usually advise students who want to do a PhD is you can come through the program, we can take you for another master's program. Once you get on the other side, Mm -hmm. You can be able to figure out how to get into a PhD program, and most likely it's a fully funded uh, program for PhDs. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from uh, the activities that you do, mm -hmm. uh, you had a team that goes to the villages looking for for students. Yes. Majorly, do they also have to pay the eleven hundred dollars? Um, so we do have a, we call it the field team that normally goes to all parts of the country. Like sometimes they will go and spend some time in Rift Valley, Nyanza, mm. and then by the way. Yeah. yeah, they are always like in the villages, all that, uh, trying to get students to get into the program. Mm. But at that point, that initial contact, uh, that is usually where we get to in introduce the program yes. to somebody. Uh, tell them what we do and then they give us the contact and then usually our team on the in our offices here and in Meru mm. they are the normally now the ones who follow us up with the students they share the handbook because even a student can't really get into our program and register without actually having to understand the program yes. how basically the program works because this is not a program for just anybody out there on the streets mm. it's a program for students it's not just any student you actually have to have done very well in high school mm. at least a C plus in mean grade and of course, also, you should have done your undergrad and done well as well, at least mm. second class division. Mm. Yeah, so, and uh, like I said earlier, the program is basically for those who are interested in STEM, mm. science, technology, engineering, and math. Even if you've done whatever you've done for your undergrad, you don't really care. Mm. But we care if you want to do STEM. Oh. Yeah. So, for example, you can you could have done uh, like you did STEM even for undergrad. Like for me, for example, I did become become is not really STEM. Oh. But if I was to if I had that kind of background, I would I was to get into the program. I would uh, the expectation within the program is you can do a program like for example project management. That's a STEM program, by the way, Master mm -hmm. of Science in Project Management. So you don't have to project management when when you sign up for your mini when you go Yes. You can do for example Master of Science in Operations Management mm -hmm. with that kind of background that I had, mm -hmm. which is uh, STEM. So you must be somebody who is willing to pursue a STEM uh, master's program, even though your undergrad is not STEM. Oh, nice, yeah, nice, yeah. nice. So yeah. just in case someone wants to do uh, the STEM you said mm. uh, from maybe a different uh, university that is not uh, in partnership with the program. With, with, with us. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Uh, we try as much as possible to take students to the university that we work with because also those universities, 
we have waivers or uh, partial scholarships with the universities mm. and it reduces your school fees so that in as much as yes we are funding you through a student loan you don't have to take a big loan because mm. at the end of the day you want to reduce your you want to reduce your burden as a loan to as little as possible. Mm -hmm. So we try as much as possible to uh, get students within the universities that we work with. Uh, but sometimes we get students who, who want to, to pursue another university. But mm -hmm. if that university is supported by a lending partner, we can, uh, we can help the student. But mostly 99.99% mm -hmm. yeah, we want you to work with the universities that we work with. Uh, from the event, I noticed that it uh, seems like you have a favorite university. <laughs> 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 there are universities where you are taking two or three, yes. but there is a, like uh, Louisville, yeah. like a whole village is yeah, going, there. going there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> So is you notice that, you that have, eh? yeah. So is it that you have a good relationship with Louisville uh, more than the others, or just Louisville just is uh, is more accommodating? Louisville is very popular with our students. Mm. Uh, in invest of Louisville. Mm. One of the reasons is because the program that the, there is one program that they have uh, in the school of business, master of science in uh, business analytics and master of science in accounting and uh, accounting analytics. Mm. Uh, in that school of business, mostly what they do is, as part of your school curriculum, you also get to work. Oh, nice. Yeah, you get to work uh, on uh, internship throughout. Mm. So there's a lot of uh, organizations that have partnered with the university mm. where our students are able to get jobs. Mm. So a lot of beneficiaries who are already in that school, mm. they have jobs. And because normally what you do is you normally share their stories on our uh, Facebook, social media, YouTube, whatever. Yeah? Mm. So a lot of students, of course, they follow and yeah. they can see that these guys are making money. And they make yeah. good money actually in the school. <laughs> So the school became so popular with so many students. So we have a lot of students applying to the school. Yes. That's also why you see the same thing translated to those who are visas. Mm. As, you, as, as you saw, there were yes. so many going yes. to that school. Yes. And it's because of that. Wow, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, even with the school, we have a very good relationship with the school. Mm. We also have a partial scholarship there of about $5,000, which is about 700000 Yeah, I saw someone was given uh, with the... Yeah, you saw also the other guy was given, uh, we gave him the... A check of 700000 check of 700 yes. Mm. So we have things like those, and uh, that's why the school is popular. Wow, amazing. Yeah, but... Uh, even a lot of other schools had uh, quite a huge number. The school that I went to, Indiana University of Pennsylvania, had quite a number. We had a uh, school in uh, San Francisco, in mm. Silicon Valley, yeah. called William Gisap University. That yes, also yes. had uh, quite a high number of students who mm. had visas. Mm. Uh, because also that university, also there's huge chance of... Um, uh, oh. doing internship and all that because in Silicon Valley man, paid internship yeah paid in there yeah, these mm. are paid internships mm. yeah so a lot of students get interested in those schools wow amazing yeah, yeah. so uh, even from uh, also the interaction uh, you fund the whole thing yes like accommodation mm. food mm. For, for, for 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 the period yes. they'll be there yeah so mm. we we finance so basically if you're in a program you don't really have to worry about anything in terms of that whole process of leaving the country all the way to the US, so air tickets, visa fees, service fees, any medicals that you have to do, where you're gonna, like who's gonna pick you, you know, from the airport to the school, where you're gonna be staying, mm. the program takes care of that. We finance that for you. Mm. Whatever you're gonna be studying, we finance that for you through our learning partners who are also attending the event or on Saturday. And then uh, even, for your, even for your living expenses, which basically is your food, you know, uh, bills, you know, internet, whatever. Yeah, we take care of all that. For the whole period? For the whole period, yes. Until Baka Malize. Baka Malize, yes. So Baka Malize, uh, that, Malize, that's what you know, like how much? To a tune of, uh, we c uh, the, for the tuition and living expenses, uh, our lending partners can give you up to as much as uh, 100000 dollars of course we don't we don't push our students to get that kind of loan mm. so typically averagely i think our students take on average a loan of about 30 40000 mm. yeah so kwa kwa account yake yeah who are, first of all we inaenda shule first mm. Mm. uh before you, okay first of all before you leave kenya once we get you the admission to schools 
Uh, the next thing is usually we get you the funding, you get all the approval, mm -hmm. and that's uh, whatever approval you get is the one that actually you take to the embassy because the embassy needs to see mm -hmm. that actually you have the money to, find, to, to study to, on the other side. Usiende kuwa chokora uko. Usiende kuwa chokora ukwe unaitisha sasa gaba uko pesa. So they make sure that you have all that, um, and uh, that is approved when you are still here. But sasa ukifika, when you get your visa, that money is gets channeled directly to your school where mm. you are going mm. because we have partnership with the university. Mm. Then the university will take their cut in terms of the school fees. Mm. And then whatever else is remaining, mm. because by the time we, we you, let's say for example, you are getting approved for 30,000, mm. we know that out of this 30,000, maybe 20,000 is school fees. Yes. And 10,000 is your pocket money that mm. you're going to be using. So the 20,000 will go directly to the school, mm. and then the school will give you 10,000. Once you go on the other side, you open your bank account and all that. Mm. So they'll channel that money to your bank so account. So it's just like help. It's pretty much like hell back to us. Help used to send 60,000. Yeah. Shule in 8,000. That means you're in a good way. Yeah. 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 Those days it was that 2000. It was yeah, 16 in yeah. first semester. Yeah. My friend, mm. me ni lienda Mombasa. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ni lienda Mombasa na hiyo yeah. pesa. Nilikuwa nanunua ufa na simu. Eh. Mm. I'm telling you mm. but for us eh, mm. I always advise students don't mm. take our money and start spending it in yeah. hell. because mm. actually, that's also why we are, mm. we are we like dealing with master students because yes. amekula mashida umekula shida huko mm. Kenya you know. Uh, we want you to go there and Mm. If you are given money, because it's in millions, you know, yes. it can be, you know, that people get excited when they get money, eh? Yes. Yeah, so you don't go misusing it, I don't mm. know, sending back home, because that's mm. money for yourself. <laughs> yeah. But those cases, by the way, mm. hey, somebody, mm. they go mm. there and then they take the loan, they yeah. get a scholarship, we, mm. have, we have those cases, mm. somebody goes there. Uh, because also the universities that we work with, uh, they give a lot of scholarships. Yes. Remember I gave those uh, statistics, mm. we have about over 300 million mm. that has been issued as scholarships so far. For the, for the students, for, for example, the, the students who, the, the almost 100 students who are, you, you, you announced on, on Saturday. Yeah, like so, how much so, in so total? Like those ones, huh? mm. those ones probably will have, I haven't done the math, huh? but... Uh, we we'll have issued, we we'll have facilitated of a close to a B probably, close to a billion. That's in shillings. In shillings, yeah, in shillings. That's yeah, okay. that's for tuition and living expenses. Mm. And then uh, there'll be also the cost of uh, the transition moving from here to there, mm. which would be because it's five thousand each. Let's say five thousand times hundred, five thousand dollars times hundred. That's what. That's $50,000. 5000 is for facilitation? Uh, yeah, facilitation, yeah. Air tickets. Air tickets, these are the two Processing know, all that, visa. Yeah, and all in that, yeah. Mm. 5000 That's 700000 Kenya yeah. shillings. Mm. I love Sasa times. Times 100. No, 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 no. 70 million. Mm. That, just for the group that was there, that mm. is going this August. Just their tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your body could have yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 70 million. That's for air tickets, visa, whatever, all that. Mm. Yeah. So it's a, it's a very expensive affair. Yeah. Uh, generally. Don't you think of maybe trying to partner with uh, one of, uh, like our local uh, airline? Uh, we actually have partnership with Qatar Airways. Remember oh, there was a lady from Qatar Airways who was Yeah, there. yeah, sure. Yeah, we do have partnership with Qatar Airways. Our airline, you see the problem, you know, Panasamanga, mm. A prophet doesn't have say not, yeah, wherever yeah. he comes from. Mm. So, of course, I believe a lot of people from Kenya Airlift, I mean, uh, from uh, Kenya Airways, have been seeing what we do. Yes. But for some reason, they don't mm. come to work with us. Yes. You understand? But mm. Qatar Airways, actually, we've been working with Qatar Airways for the last two years. Wow. Qatar, Air, Qatar Airways is our official airline for the program, even they're on the website. Mm. Yeah, so mostly we book through Qatar Airways. Um, they give us discounts for the students, 10%. Uh, and then, of course, students also get mails and all those things. So, yeah. 
Oh. Yeah, kama we see also at the end of the day, kama when we know what to work mm. with mm. you, you just work with who, whoever wants to work with you. Wow, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, uh, lastly, there is a case where uh, you've given uh, money to a student mm -hmm. and uh, they are budgeting, mm -hmm. they fail in their budgeting mm -hmm. for the period that they are supposed to have the money mm -hmm. and they have no maybe job or paid internship where mm -hmm. they are schooling. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Do you come through for them or you just leave them to call back home? Uh, no, you see, the good thing with our program, eh? as long as you are a member of the program in good standing, you see also you could be a member, like in well, you know, to Sumbuanga, <laughs> in bad those cases. Yeah, there, <laughs> must bad, be, there must be such There's cases. those bad apples actually within mm. the program. Uh, but if you're in good standing, you know, like the way of course, is even the, for example, when you go to Nairobi, went to Nairobi Uni, right? You yes. have to be in good standing with the university yes. for them to support you. It's the same thing within the program. Mm. So if you're in good standing and for whatever reason, something happens, maybe for some reason your money was not, mm. uh, let's say for example, through a learning partner was not directly sent to your school. We had that, a case like that, by the way, last year. Mm. Uh, these, those were who went in January, sorry. Yeah. We had a case of a student who got approved the loan, mm. got the visa, mm. but there's usually a last step before the money gets to the school and to you. Yes. The, you have to sign the paperwork. Mm. The student never signed anything. Mm. Okay, for the disbursement of the money. Mm. Never signed anything. The lender had set the deadline, mm. and it the student expired. arrived to the school, no school fees, mm. and no, no pocket money. No, no pocket money. Mm. We are talking of $15,000. Yeah. So you see now, for that as a program, mm -hmm. I have to figure out. You are a student who is in the who is within the program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't just start calling to ask for fifteen thousand from Kenya mm -hmm. and yet they know that you're in the program. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we had to foot that. Mm -hmm. So you had those cases. Uh, we, we normally get a few cases in because you see also it's not always like you know, things like move the way you want them to to move. Yeah. But also that's why we have the program in case mm -hmm. of those issues. Then we can be able to sort the student and they can take the money directly from the program. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Wow, nice. Mm. So, thank you so much. Thank you, bro. And we went to CS wa masomo sasa. Maybe I can just put you in that position and tell us <laughs> what will you first change? Ah, uh, well, if I was if I had the privilege of getting to the leadership of this country, mm. I would really love to work on something related to what actually we are doing here. Maybe you know, Tomboya time. used to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are Tomboya of our time. 1950s, yeah. Mm. So, but I think uh, what I would really, maybe something something to do with, more to do with the policies and relationships between the country, uh, Kenya and the US, I always feel like we don't really do a good job in trying to market ourselves, the talent that we have, so that we can have favorable uh, visa outcomes for the country. Because actually India has done that. And there are a lot of India sends, like for example, every year India sends about 50,000 students to the US. Mm. Of course, I know India has billions of students, mm. but also it's because also their, gov their government has really put in a lot of effort mm. in terms of building the relationship between the two countries, the US and India. Mm. So if you can be able to do that, if I was in a position uh, to help the country, I think that would that would be something that I would work very very hard to see that actually the other side recognizes the talent that we have and we don't have to really struggle most of the time at the embassy as long as you look like you are a genuine student. Mm. Yeah, so that's that's really what I would do if I was given that chance. And uh, maybe just to think about uh, maybe having maybe such. Uh, the University of Indiana, mm -hmm. something like that here mm -hmm. in Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, so that we reduce the number of people, maybe mm -hmm. students going uh, to study outside. How many excitement to na kuaga because how many under quality, uh, low quality, uh, high education. Uh, usually, actually, like for example, uh, even the university that you just talked about, Indiana University of Pennsylvania, they usually have like uh, something called like. Uh, like an arrangement mm. where uh, it's usually called a change program where students from the from from here they can learn they can study here in Kenya mm. but whatever they are studying is for that university 
Oh, and then it. maybe after like one semester, they go and do mm. the, complete their masters mm. uh, on the other side. They have something like that for for that university in India. Again, mm. India, mm. bro. I'm telling you, this industry mm. when it comes to higher education abroad, mm. India leads oh, nice. for those students who go to the US. And they have a lot of those, you know, arrangements with the university and all that. That university, they have something like that, like change mm. program. Mm. So you find most students from India, they go to the university first. In their country, in mm. India, mm. they have a setup there, and then they start there for like a semester. Mm. Then after that, now they transition and go and do a, the final semester in the US, and they get the degree from there. Mm. Yeah, so that's that's very very possible. But of course, also it can be possible if you are just sending very very few number of students to the US. Mm. So we really want to do as much as possible to work with these universities, be able to send them as many students as possible, and those discussions it's very easy to start them. And actually, the university can be able to set up something. Mostly, even they collaborate with universities on this end. On this end, for example, they can collaborate with the University of Nairobi. Come on, Mr. Mayor, enough. University of Nairobi, maybe in your fourth year, you go on the other side and finish. So those things are always possible. But wow. again, come a government is not really putting, you know, the effort. Whoever is in charge, you know, diaspora affairs, all these CSAs. Some of them they don't even know their job. And then I approached one of those CSs when I look up for your seat sometimes back last mm. year. Mm. And I was very disappointed. I don't want to say his name, mm. but very, very disappointed. He didn't even, like, he had no clue of what mm. I was even telling him, what mm. we are doing. Mm. Una, una, una present him to like a very good uh, solution to the problems that are happening in this country, but they don't even see it. Yeah. Yeah. They are there as our. Clueless. Work. <laughs> Not Clueless. To work. <laughs> work. <laughs> they are there as a president. Clueless, bro. Clueless. Mm. They are there as a work. Not to work. <laughs> Me, I spent with him for like an hour. Nata Kuskizi. And I could interrupt. Ata Ataki Ata Umaliza, what you are saying. Mm. Yeah, I was very disappointed. And I badly know I'm a good dish, but it's okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> But in another capacity. My, uh, minding how many. <laughs> so thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you very uh, much. And so if you're watching this, this eh? yes. if you're watching this, uh, and you are really interested in what we are doing, uh, we are located at the Mirage, uh, eighth floor, Tower One. Come here. We have a very big team here that will be able to, you know, answer your questions about the program, what we do, and uh, will support your dreams of going and studying abroad. Otherwise, also, you can reach out to us on social media platforms. We are on YouTube as the International Scholars Program. By the way, we, all along, we've been known as the Kenya Airlift Program. Yes. Uh, we are in the process of uh, transitioning, uh, rebranding into International Scholars Program. So you can still go on the internet, search the Kenya Airlift Program. Program, you spell it as P-R-O-G-R-A-M. I believe also you are going to put the link to our yes. website uh, mm. on this video. Yeah. Yeah. So click on that link. Uh, mm. Go there, download the handbook, get mm. to see what we are doing. You know, and uh, come and uh, talk to our people, and uh, we'll be more than happy to support your dream. See you. Yes. Bye Thank bye. you so much. Okay. Asante sana, bro. Yeah. Thank you.